My name is Amy Carnes. I'm the writer and director. Uh, my name is Brian Mahoney, and I'm the producer for Acacia. My name is Beth Gallagher, and I play Rachel Ashcroft. I play Charlie. Uh, I am the director of photography for Acacia. My name is Alejandro Castro, and I am the editor of Acacia. I'm Allie Lennox, and my two biggest roles were casting director and assistant director. I would describe Acacia as a conspiracy thriller. It's kind of a conspiracy theory thriller. It's a very exciting film about a uh, young woman who uh, writes a blog, a conspiracy theory blog, and she is handed some information that um, she's been searching for that leads to her going down kind of this rabbit hole. Dealing with uh, government mind control that she is trying to expose. It's all fueled by the death of her father, which she believes is related. A little bit of X-Files mixed with a little bit of Alias, with a little bit of uh, the Bourne movies. It's a great story. Uh, our writer, uh, Amy Cardis, uh, really put together something special with it. Fun little tidbit, when I first wrote this, it was a man. And then I was started writing, I'm like, why am I writing about a guy? Like, why does a guy have to be doing this? And so I changed Rick to Rachel. It's like, my vision for Acacia is pretty much come on to screen, and that was really trippy and awesome to see. Ready? One, two, three, go. No. Nope. Okay. One, two, three, go. Oh, oh, one, two, three, go. Char Charlie's cool. Um, he's more of the techie guy, so whenever Rachel comes to him, it's probably for, you know, tracing stuff. Pretty much what you see uh, him doing on screen is stuff that I would do in real life. I do relate to my character. I think that we have the same personality and we live in different circumstances. Woo! Woo! Thank now you. Okay. My on-set experience is great. I, I, loved, uh, I loved the actors you worked with. My on-set experience was a lot of fun. Um, I had a great time. This entire crew works really, really well together. It's been a great experience. Uh, this has been a great team. Amy likes to do things a little bit more on the fly, spontaneous, which is great. Freaked me out because I'm a little OCD. <laughs> but it was fun to work with and kind of find that balance. Uh, I was moving around quite a lot, especially the times where um, I had, we were crunching on time, so Alejandro kind of turned into the second unit director. So he was shooting some things and while Mike was setting up for other things, and uh, I would run from one side to the other to the other to back. It was just nonstop. Uh, I don't think Mike and I ever sat down to eat. The way that everyone worked together and supported each other and collaborated is my favorite on-set experience because you don't always get that on-set. I think everyone maintained a healthy level of respect for, for each other and it made it a very positive experience. It was a, it was a lot of fun, actually. Um, there's also a lot of great people in this city who've been willing to help out and uh, it's been wonderful. Where are we shooting at right now? They're delicious. The potato shack. Awesome. Boom. Look at me, I'm my marathon runner. Woohoo! This is on camera or having bruises in my life? Your life. That's fine. Don't worry about that. You're sweating. You're sweating! It's still your line. <laughs> in reality, I'm probably jumping about four feet. But? In my head, it feels like about 40. For me, I think my favorite moment was when Beth, uh, the first take where she jumps out the window. I thought she was actually gonna, like the way she like went full throttle, put both legs over the uh, the windowsill, I, I thought she was actually gonna jump out the window. For framing a shot, we had a day, Andrew was significantly taller than than Beth, so we had, uh, Amy had Andrew squat so we could have him more in frame with, with Beth. Favorite shot of all um, is probably the slider shot between Charlie's desk. Um, it took a long time to set up, but it was well worth it. Uh, shooting the, um, the fight scene between Beth and I. And I just really liked that because I got to throw Beth around. I don't really like her too much. No, I'm just kidding. My favorite moment, she'll probably kill me, but I'm serious, it's when Beth couldn't drive. So then we're filming, and the finished thing in the scene, and Beth goes, you know, shifts the car, and she's the car starts backing up. Totally would have killed Allie, like seriously. She would have died. God! <laughs> you guys have no idea how hard it was to 
drive that car. <laughs> and um, it's the scene where Beth comes in and um, we've, we've tossed the apartment uh, in, the, in this portion of the movie, the man in black has come in and roughed up Charlie and everything's a mess. And uh, I just remember, you know, as we were filming the thing, look, filming the scene, looking around at everything, and it just looked awesome. I, I just was so proud of everything that we had put together. You know, it's all those video games. You desensitize the dead people. There you go, for it. Raise your head. Yeah. That's so trip, cool. Trip. Everyone look at the camera. Hi. I hope people like it. Amy has a really good vision for her story, and I really liked the story, so I really wanted to work on this one. And I love that it was a female lead. I hope people love it. I mean, right now, its I've only seen a couple little small bits, but it looks really cool. I think people like it. It's its kind of the introduction to a larger story. It's its definitely a thriller, and uh, I think people are gonna, gonna take to it and be talking about it. My hope is that uh, they enjoyed it and that it was entertaining and that they're intrigued as to what happens next.